that time of the month again where I sit here, talk about my beauty favourites and silently contemplate where the hell my last 30-ish days have gone. But seriously, what is happening? My life is flashing before my eyes, it's slightly terrifying. Being at the end of June is slightly terrifying because that means that this month I have got one of the busiest months of my life and I'm going to LA which is very exciting but slightly terrifying at the same time so oh my god where did the month go let's get on with some beauty favourites. So this month I'm definitely feeling the summery vibes with my beauty favourites there have just been so many nice kind of summery products that have like slipped their way into my makeup bag and daily use and I have been totally loving that and I fully blame going to Barcelona for part of that because getting some sun just completely changed my mindset. I came back and I was like, I am ready for summer. There's a lot of summery items, some base loves and some lipsticks as per usual. I'm gonna get started with those because what is a Hello October Beauty Favourites without at least three lipsticks, right? So I'm gonna get started with my most recent and possibly most summery favourite, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade 1975 red. I always forget what it's called because I get it confused with red carpet red, which is another one. But anyway, this is a lovely kind of reddy, pinky, corally, orangey red. It's got like a mixture of kind of everything and it's perfect for summer. It's still red. It's not like a corally, orangey colour. It's a red, but it's definitely got like a bit more of a summery vibe to it. It's a little bit more bright. It's a little bit more in your face. It's not very dark at all. And I totally love this. Packaging aside, because you know the rose gold packaging has me instantly. The product is amazing, it lasts forever, and I am just totally in love with this. The matte lipsticks are actually great for summer because it means there's no slipping, no sliding, and it's just a really nice summery colour and product, and I have just been loving this. I used this in my last Get Ready With Me, which I think went up on Wednesday? I wanna say Wednesday. <laughs> my schedule in my brain is completely fuzzled at the moment, so I think that Get Ready With Me has gone up already, so I will link it in the description box below. But anyway, I've been loving that. That is just a beautiful, bright, bold lipstick, my favorite for summer at the moment. I think I might have to go and get some more of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. If anyone has any color recommendations, leave them in the comments. And then next up, we have a little something from MAC, which is another really recent find of mine. I picked this up the other day. This is Syrup. It's kind of the most unsummery, colour I think I could find at the moment, but I've been really enjoying it. It looks really great with um, the slight tan that I have at the moment. Thank you, Barcelona. And I've just been loving taking advantage of slightly darker, more neutral lipsticks because I find when I'm really, really pale, it doesn't suit me and it kind of washes me out a little bit too much. But with a slight tan, it just looks so nice. And I picked up a few MAC lipsticks. I think my haul has gone up already, which I will also link below, but there was definitely a few Lily Pebbles inspired um, kind of lipstick purchases in that haul and this was one of them because I've heard her talk about syrup so much and it's definitely worth picking up so definitely go and give that a look if you are into kind of your more darker more neutral lipsticks because it's so nice and I have that on today with another lipstick which is this one which is my third lipstick favourite which is um, the Chanel Le Beige Balm Louvres but this is a beautiful kind of balmy lipsticky hybrid. It's really hydrating, so, so lovely. And then it's got the most perfect kind of nude pinky colour. It's just like my perfect nude lipstick and I'm really sad that this is limited edition because I'm gonna need to find a dupe for it in MAC or something like that because I can't be without this. This is like the perfect nude for me. So lip products aside, there's another item that I picked up from MAC that I have been absolutely obsessed with and this is the Pro Conceal and Correct palette which is Definitely one of those you don't need this kind of items unless you're like a makeup artist or you're seriously, seriously into your makeup collecting and palettes and things like that. You don't need this, but I'm a bit of a makeup obsessive. So I was like fully all over this and I'm a concealer addict. I love concealer. It's one of my favorite um, beauty products to use because I have a lifelong love-hate relationship or mostly hate relationship with my dark under eye circles. So. This was just a must have for me and it is amazing. It's got kind of your more yellow and pinky toned kind of concealer shades that you use to correct. And then you have kind of their more normal looking concealer shades at the top, which you kind of put over the top and it just works together very nicely to really correct and conceal. And I'm so all over this. It's just my favorite part of my makeup routine now in the morning. I am so obsessed with using this. I find it really pleasing to just to see like the little tiny imperfections just really nicely, neatly concealed and 
yeah, I just am obsessed with this. I just can't say any more about it. Next up we have the NARS Tinted Moisturiser, which I rediscovered this month and couldn't figure out what happened and why I ever stopped using it. This stuff is incredible. It just makes my skin look so dewy and glowy and healthy and fresh and it has really good coverage as well. And why did I stop using this? Where has this been for the last seven months? Why haven't I been using this? I can't work it out, but this is an awesome, awesome base product. I'm totally off of anything that's like really high coverage at the moment. And I'm just so, so loving tinted moisturizers as usual. You guys know this. But anyway, loving that this stuff is awesome. Whether you apply it with fingers, brushes, anything, it's just amazing, flawless finish. Can't rave about this enough. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take you back to that haul that I did last week where I had my spendy moment in duty free. And I also vlogged my spendy moment in duty free as well, or kind of the aftermath of it and the chocolate buying and the all the stuff. <laughs> Basically, long story short, I had to go through two duty frees to get to my boarding gate which was a bad idea because I already went into one willingly and the second one that I had to go through, I was like, oh my God, all the chocolate, all the beauty products. And I ended up coming away with a couple of things, including Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, which I had never ever liked until this summer. And then it's all I can smell on anyone and I'm so obsessed with it. Oh my God, it's just so, so gorgeous. It's just so summery and just, mm. ah. <sighs> This stuff is just amazing. I think I've just come around to the coconutty side of it. I think that's what was putting me off before. And I just am so, so in love with this stuff. I've really used quite a bit, considering it's like brand new-ish. There's like, there's a little air bubble going on at the top there. And this is limited edition, so I've got to make this last me a full year, which is slightly terrifying. But yeah, I just love this. And although I haven't loved it for as long as everyone else has, I've always been keeping an eye on the packaging because it changes every single year. And I have to say, I think this is the best bottle yet it's just like gold to pinky ombre it's so pretty but it's still got like the gold lid i just love this this is a beautiful product anyway next product this is the chanel Le beige healthy glow multicolor it's a really lovely bronzery kind of powdery you know thing i kind of just use it all over my face every day at the moment and i'm obsessed with it but you can also just use it as a bronzer i kind of do a bit of both so i go over all over my face first and then kind of bronze over the top and my face just looks really brown <laughs> and it's got the most lovely unpowdery finish i have ever seen in a bronzer it's just so so gorgeous and it smells amazing like if your skin is really like not happy with having any form of fragrance on it then don't use this but if you're okay with that this is just, oh my God, smells so good. Why does, how does the powder smell so good? But yeah, this is beautiful. It blends so amazingly and it's just such a gorgeous product. I have not put this down this month. It's just, it's replaced the Soap and Glory Solar Powder. Those are like two, two different ends of the affordable scale, but I'm so, so in love with this. And I think this might be limited edition as well. I've done a whole blog post on this entire collection, so I will link that in the description box and you can go and have a read because I've marked the limited edition items and all of that. So I will link that in the description box below and definitely check out my blog for kind of beauty, the little beauty reviews and then like their style stuff as well. So go and check that out, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, I love this and I love the packaging as well. It's so gorgeous. And then I've got a couple of affordable drugstore items which are very well loved and looking very, very grim at the moment. So I apologize for that. But the first thing that I kind of rediscovered this month was the Rimmel Scandalize uh, waterproof, water, waterproof Cole Kajal liner thing. This is the nude one. And I'm using this today because my uh, water lines get really, really red at the moment. So I've been using this and it just really helps to correct. It makes your eyes look so bright and just like you've had eight hours sleep when you've actually had four. And then the more dirty out of the two of those is the Royal Techniques uh, Blending Sponge, which is definitely well, well loved at the moment. This is just amazing. I run this under cold water in the morning. It's really nice if you've got really puffy skin as well. And just kind of like Put it under cold water, give it a squeeze, make sure it's not like soaking wet so I squeeze all of the water out but it's like damp and then I blend in my foundation and stuff with it and I've really been enjoying using it with the NARS tinted moisturiser. I think they are a really lovely combination and it just helps to blend concealer really nicely as well because I'm using a lot of different concealers. I just think that it works really well and I've just been loving this and I think I need to get a new one because this is kind of going out of shape. Okay, I'm going to talk about this product because I've just realised it's been leaking onto my bed. Um, 
which is definitely a downside to it right there. <laughs> this is the Clarins After Sun Shimmer Oil, which I have been loving up until this moment when I realised it's been leaking on my bed, which is not fantastic. Um, I don't think I screwed the lid on properly. <laughs> not good. Um, but I've been loving this this month. You only need the tiniest amount because it is very, very oily, but it's like the most beautiful kind of tanning, shimmering oil combination ever. It's basically, you use it as you would an after sun, but it's got a little bit of tan in it and also a bit of shimmer. So if you are on holiday and you're going out for a night out and you're kind of getting ready and you've been out in, by the pool all day or whatever, you can just apply this and it makes your legs look really nice and sheeny and healthy and glowy, but it also does its kind of after sun nourishingness and then it also gives you a little bit of tan enhancement as well. I've been loving using this since I got back to help kind of prolong the tan and kind of enhance it a bit more and it's just a really, really lovely oil. It's definitely more of a dry oil kind of formula. It doesn't feel like it's super oily on your skin, so it's really nice for if you want to get dressed quite quickly after. And I don't ever find that my white clothes, and I wear a lot of white, I don't ever find that my white clothes ever have kind of like tan marks on them or anything like that. So I've been loving that. And then another tan related product that I've been loving is the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. And I have the body one of this as well, which if you do want one that you can use for body, you can also use it for face. So definitely look into that one, but this is the one that's purely made for face. And it's very, very tiny, it's really cute. And you just kind of tip it upside down. It's got a little kind of button bit on the bottom where you kind of like push it in and the little drops kind of drop out and you use like two or three, -ish, four if you may, drops and just add it to your moisturizer and kind of mix it together, apply it to your face and the next morning you wake up with the most amazing tan on your face. This stuff is incredible and I definitely prefer it to the Clarins, is it liquid bronze or it's the one that comes in like the yellow bottle and you sweep it on a cotton pad over your face. I much prefer this because you can control how much you want on it. It's non-streaky. I find that the Clarins liquid bronze can quite often cause like little bumpy, not like mass breakouts, like not acne or anything like that, but little kind of bumps all over kind of my T-zone and I don't get that at all with this because it's just kind of an addition to my normal skincare routine and I've been really enjoying using this. You barely need anything, like you can just see that I've used kind of like that little bit there. Um, you barely need any of it because you use like a couple of drops per time and it's just such a good little tanning product. So if you're really into your tan for the face, I would definitely recommend looking at this. And then the final thing I've been loving is an oil and this is the Origins High Potency Nitamin Skin Refining Oil. And this is just the nicest oil that I have been using recently. I've been trying so many different ones because every brand seems to have released a night oil recently and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed with night oils. But this has been the one that I have been going to every night. It's just kind of an everyday, I want something nice and hydrating kind of oil. It smells incredible and is kind of like, it's not super oily, so I feel like it sinks into the skin kind of quickly rather than sitting on the top and feeling really slippery and gross. It really sinks in and it kind of feels like a mix between an oil and a dry oil. It's like somewhere in between. Uh, where it just leaves your skin feeling really nice and hydrated and nourished and then you can go in with your moisturiser over the top and you don't feel like it's really sticky or slippy and I don't worry about putting my head on my pillow. Oh my god, it just smells so good. So I've been really enjoying using this recently and I love Origins as a skincare brand because although they're high-end, they're not stupidly high-end, it's not really expensive, it's not like 80 pounds for an oil and I've just been really liking this and I also like the bottle that it comes in because it's very kind of travel friendly, it's not a big heavy glass bottle, it's kind of, I think it's a plastic bottle and it's just really nice, like really cute and dinky but just very, very travel friendly and I really like that. And that is it for my June favourites, woo! So that is it for my June favourites, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are new. I do videos kind of at least three times a week so definitely keep an eye out for those, there are always videos now during the week and hopefully even though July is stupidly busy that is going to continue throughout July and even whilst I'm away at VidCon and stuff. Also I'm going to be at VidCon, um, Style Hall are very kindly taking me so I'm really really excited to be going to LA, that's so exciting so um, hopefully we'll see some of you there, let me know if you're going. Also let me know if you have any video requests in the comments below because I'm kind of pre-filming a lot of things for when I go away over the summer now so let me know if there's anything you want to see and I I will add them to my list. But anyway, ramble over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe and all of that kind of stuff that makes me really, really happy. And I will see you guys in my next video.
multi color blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> what is this called? Sponge applicator, applicating sponge, blending sponge. Oh my god, today is not my day for speaking. <laughs> High five, team. I'm out of here.